This episode is brought to you by Grant Thornton. Forget what you think you know about audit, tax, and advisory firms. Grant Thornton listens, collaborates, and truly cares about your business. So they're always ready to help you take on whatever this market brings next. See how at GT.com. Only at Metro by T-Mobile, you can upgrade to 5G and get more savings with the lowest price on one line of unlimited 5G. Just $40, period. That's it. Taxes and fees included. Plus, more choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones from brands you love, like Samsung. Switch and save more. Only at Metro. Lowest price versus major national prepaid brands. The fraction of users greater than 35 gigabytes per month may notice reduced speeds, and Metro customers may notice reduced speeds versus T-Mobile due to prioritization. Video streams and SD requires eligible port in and plan. See store for details. Doctor Who Fairy Fairy from the Deep Episode Five Control Hall Price Feed HQ Calling Rig F, feed HQ, calling F, Rig F. Can you hear me? Come in, please. Ah, oh, Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris? I can't raise any of the rigs. Not one. Harris, this is unbelievable. Price. I'll try again, sir. Feed HQ, calling Rig B. Feed HQ, calling Rig B. Can you hear me? Jones, well, will you keep trying, man? Jones, well, keep trying, man. Doctor, you're wasting your time, Mrs. Jones. Jones. By now, all those rigs have been taken over by the weed colony. Harris, I don't care about the rigs. What happened to the crews? Doctor, I'm af- the worst is, I'm af- the worst, I'm afraid. Harris, and we've got to destroy the rigs. Jones, no. Doctor, no, we didn't do that. Harris, why not? Doctor, well, that would spread this menace over a wide area, making it possible to attack it. Harris, well, what are you going to do? Doctor, no, what is the weed going to do? Jones, what can it do? Doctor, yes. Well, let's think. Now, I imagine in the first place, weed was drawn up by one of the, the drilling rigs. Harris, no, no, anything that comes up through the bores would be cleaned by the engineers at the source, otherwise it would block the pumps. Dr. Precisely, an engineer who cleaned it, must have touched it, yes? Harris, yes, so that it must have been amongst the first to be controlled. Doctor, and since then, this attack, and it is an attack, as far as set pattern. Jones, how do you mean? Doctor, to top, to top priority people have been attacked first. Jones, if your theory is correct, that we now control two people who know the entire layout and the structure of this whole compound. Doctor, yes, I am very much afraid that that is true. Jones Robson was here not long ago. We must find him, prevent him from using him for his own sake as well as ours. Harris, yes, I agree, Price. Price, sir. Harris, get security to search the entire compound. I want Mr. Robson found and put under on guard in his cabin. Price, very good, sir. Harris, Doctor, is one thing that doesn't fit in your theory? Doctor, oh, and what's that? Harris, when Victoria's locked in the oxygen room, she she's now she's nothing to do with the personnel here. Doctor, yes, that's something that's puzzling me too. But she did just have someone who was interfering the oxygen supplies. Harris, someone wearing a gas mask? Doctor, now supposing that person was under control of the weed, he was wearing a gas mask for one reason only. Harris, because to to him, pure oxygen would be toxic. Doctor, exactly, Mr. Harris. Harris, well then, we can use oxygen as a weapon against the weed. Doctor, well, it's only a theory at the moment. Jones, well, Mr. Harris said before, you've been right so far, so there's no reason why you shouldn't be now. Oak and quill leave, Doctor. Oh, how nice to be trusted. But I only hope I'm right. Oxygen room outside the oxygen store. Oak and quill put on a gas mask and enter. Control room. Price. Good. See that he stays there, Mr. Harris. Harris, yes. Price. They found Mr. Robinson. Harris. Good. Where? Price in his cabin, lying in a bunk, apparently. Harris. Oh, well, that's a relief. Price. There's a guard at the door, sir. Harris, good. Jones, Mr. Harris, I want to see Mr. Robson. 
Harris Robson, but he's ill. He won't be able to put able to put two. Jones, I want to see him, Harris. But you've seen him already. Surely you could you could see he was in no fit state to help us in any way. Jones, I fully realise that, Mister Harris. But we are gold friends. We asked he might talk to me. It might just possibly but he might know something that could help us. Harris, I see. All right. I'm coming with you. Robson's in a bit of all state at the moment. He might be violent. Jones, all right. You come to Perkins. Perkins, yes, Miss Jones. Jones and Perkins leave. Harris, oh, if something happens, anything happens, Price, even all, I'll be with Miss Jones in Mrs. Rob- in Mr. Robson's cabin. Price, very good, sir. Harris, chief, chief, right, sir. Corridor, Perkins. Look, don't you, don't you, why don't you get the minister to call up national defences? Jones, what exactly do you suppose the armed forces could do? Perkins, well, attack this weed, or whatever it is. Jones, how, if we attack the weeks? What about the men out there? Perkins, but we don't know that they, they are there. Jones says equally, we don't know that they aren't. This could be, they could be prisoners, anything. Anyway, even if we do blow the pigs out of the wall, see, it don't guarantee you end this nightmare. It might just, it might spread well, but a menace, as the doctor suggested. Harris, this must, this way, please, Miss Jones. Jones, right. Come along, Perkins. Don't look so worried, man. You might as well go home. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. Outside Robson's cabin, Jones. If you please, Harris. Harris, Miss Jones. I'd rather you let me or Perkins come in with you. Jones, no. Don't, now don't fuss, Harris. I'm perfectly all right. Robson's cabin. Robson is lying on his bunk, staring at the ceiling. Jones, Robson, Robson, John, John. It's all right, John. Me, Megan, Megan Jones. Robson, Megan. Jones, I want to try to help you, Joe Robson. You can't help. No one can help. Jones, John, can you tell us what happened? Robson, no. Jones, John, listen to me. We can't help you unless you help us. Robson can't help. No one can help. Jones, yes, we can, John, if you let us. Now, whatever it is that's affecting you, you've got to fight it. Robson can't fight. Jones, you've got to fight, John. Robson can't fight it. Jones, now come on, Robson. Robson, now listen to me. I'm director of the board. I put you in charge of this so I can just as easily send you back to the rigs. Do you understand me, Robson? Now pull yourself together, man. Robson, Megan, I. Jones, pull yourself together. Robson, Megan, Megan, help me, help me, help me, Megan. Jones, John. Robson, help. Jones, it's all right, John. Harris and Perkins enter. Harris, Miss Jones? Jones, John, can you hear me? Can you hear me? He, as if he was in a trance, hypnotized for a moment. He's rational. Harris, I think we'd better let him rest. Outside Robson Cabin had Jones. Harris, is nothing to. Is there nothing we can do to help him? Harris, no, the doctor couldn't help my wife, so I'm sure there's nothing we can get. There is nothing he can. Jones, no, no, of course not. As far as I can see, the only thing to do is destroy it. We, we, come on, control hall. The doctor is thinking, Jamie. He does look worried this time. It's beginning to give me the willies. Victoria, yes, I wish we could go back to Tardis to leave all this trouble behind. Jamie can't do that. You know the doctor would never leave these people. Not while there's... Victoria, I know, I know, Jamie. Oh, Victoria, you're not going to start again, are you? Now, look, the doctor's got enough trouble as it is. Let him s- just sit and work on it out. Anyway, he says there's an obvious answer to this seaweed stuff. Victoria, an answer? What do you mean? Jamie, in a way you're fighting it. Victoria, if it's that obvious, you would have thought of it by now. Jamie, aye, Jones, Harris and Perkins enter. Jones, well, Doctor, have you thought of a way in which we can attack the Swede? Doctor, Dr. Oh, Miss J- Jones, I'm afraid I haven't. Jones, well... Have you any idea what might, what it might do next? Doctor, well, I think it has a little alternative but to attack us here. Harris, here? Perkins, well, why? Doctor, because this is the gas distribution centre. 
It wants to go in control of it. It must find a way. We must find a way of attacking its nerve center, for it does, Perkins. But where is the nerve center? Doctor, that's the trouble. We don't know. Harris, we're not, and we're not sure yet quite how to destroy it, are we? Doctor, no. But there is something at the back, in the back, at the back of my mind, Perkins. Well, without the oxygen. Doctor, yes, that's a possibility, Jones. There must be, then we must put the oxygen supply room guard. We must put the oxygen room under guard, supply room under guard. Harris, right. Robson's cabin. Robson is asleep when the heart, heartbeat starts up. His eyes open. He looks at the ventilation reel. And then in the wall, Robson gets up and goes to the door. Robson, yes, yes, yes. Outside Robson's cabin, Robson attacks the guard from behind with his weed covered hands. He breathes toxic air into his face, knocking him out. Control hall. Blake reports the sabotage the oxygen supply room. Harris, a hold of the oxygen store? Blake, yes, sir. With no reserves left at all. Harris, they seem to be one step ahead of us all the time. Dolly, yes, I was right. So amongst us it. He was under control of the weed. Harris, you mean, apart from Robson and Van Lupins? Doctor, yes, I'm afraid so. Harris, how will you find out who they are? Doctor, I don't know. It's difficult. That, that's the difficulty. Harris, well, we must go to personnel. We can do, we must do a personnel check. Yeah, there's a, think, there's a fingerprint file in security. Doctor, yes. Harris, Doctor, I should need your help. Jamie, Doctor, yes. Jamie's Oak and Creel are about to leave. Jamie, hey, you two. Just a moment. Stop. Corridor. Breakfast can set the tone for the rest of the day. Make it a special moment in minutes with Pillsbury Grand Cinnamon Rolls. An easy way to get everyone to slow down and enjoy the morning together. And now they have more of that delicious middle in every bite. They're great as is or in a recipe like giant cinnamon roll. Pick up a can or two of Pillsbury Grand Cinnamon Rolls next time you're at the grocery store. Or try our new Pillsbury Monkey Bread Pull-Apart Kids. Visit Pillsbury.com for recipe inspiration and more. Introducing Under Armour's Infinity High Sports Bra. Its ergonomic design is molded to support the natural movement of your body. With cord-out padding, the better breathability eliminates extra bulk without sacrificing support. And quick-dry padding is Under Armour's fastest drying padding yet. When you're lifting heavy, running fast, and pushing yourself further than ever before, you need a bra that will help you go that extra mile and make you feel your best. Shop the Infinity High Sports Bra now at UA.com. Jamie, come back. You you won't get away from me. Jamie tackles Quill. Victoria, careful. The Doctor and Harris are at the end of the corridor. As Oak gets away, Quill gets out of Jamie's grasp, breathes on him. Jamie staggers and punches Quill before he can get out of reach. So he screams. Quill drops to the floor. Jamie soon put you, that soon put play to him, didn't it? Don't know what hit him, did he? Didn't know what hit him, did he? Doctor, yes, Jamie, I'm sure you're right. Jamie, there's a little bit of power left in that old chameleon McCribbin punch yet. Doctor, I'm sorry to delusion you, James. But I think it was it was a punch. It, I don't think it was a punch that did it. Chief, Mr. Harris. Harris, what is it? Chief, I think you'd better come, sir, quickly. Control hall. There's a mass of weed and foam on the monitor. Jones, what's the trouble? Jones, Harris, the pipeline room. Jones, but it's incredible, Perkins. Why can't we do something? Jones, we'd have to trust this. We'd, we'll have to train this strange doctor. He's the only one who seems to be able to appreciate, appreciate events, anticipate events. Perkins, don't you think that? Don't you? Don't you think that? That think that in itself a suspect. Jones, he's our only our only hope. Come on, pipeline room. Jamie placed a transparent panel in the, in the pipeline. Jamie, what's happened to it, Doctor? Doctor, it began to expand like it did like it did in the TARDIS. Jamie, is there no way you're stopping it? Doctor, no, I should have thought of this. Don't, don't. What do you mean? What do you mean this has terrific stuff growing all the time? Doctor, I very much afraid so. Price, Mr. Harris, so, Mr. Harris, Mr. Robson's broken out of his cabin. He's tapped the guard. Jamie, Doctor, look at that. The panel on the pipe starts to crack. The foam bursts into the room. A wee tentacle grabs an engineer, pulling him into the foam. 
Dada, right, Jamie, come right, right, Jamie, right back, back, everyone, come back, everyone, back, come along. In front of him, Doctor Miss Jones, I think it's time you went. Come along, Tanoi, an emergency alert. Jamie, where's Victoria, Doctor? Well, she was here, Doctor Jamie, Doctor. Victoria, Doctor, she is here, standing alongside you. Jamie, I thought she was with you. Doctor, no. Jamie, where's she gone? Doctor, she must have gone through there. But the safety doors between, but the safety doors between the pedal room and the control hall closed, locking them in. Jamie, hey, Doctor, the doors. Jamie, they won't open. Doctor, open these doors, open these doors. They try here, Jamie. Jamie, they're closed too. The Doctor goes to the door, to the corridor. And holds it open with his body. Doctor, they're not. Come along. Jamie is still looking for Victoria. Doctor, Jamie, the doors, they're heavy. I can't hold them. Jamie, ja- hurry, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, come on. This way is this way in here. Hurry up. I can't hold them. Jamie goes over to the gas, fi- as the gas fills the room. They both get into the corridor. Just in time. Corridor, Jamie. Now what do we do? Doctor, we must look for Victoria. You go that way, I'll go this. Jamie, right. As the seaman entrance to the refinery building, Boston is carrying an unconscious Victoria. He puts her in a passage seat of mini moak and drives away the klaxons of the world across the area. Control hole. Harris, seal off the pipeline room completely. Close the pipelines in and out. Well, come on, man. Don't just stand there. Guards, you must find Mr. Robson. I search everywhere. A rock hells along the cliff top ro- road to the airstrip. Robson drags Victoria out and carries her to a waiting helicopter and starts it up and takes off. Control hall. Price, Mr. Harris. Price, what is it? What is it? Price, Mr. Robson has just taken off. Helicopter heads for up to sea. Jamie, hey, have you seen Victoria? Harris, n- no, I haven't. Jamie? Doctor, have you found her yet? Doctor, no, I was hoping you had. Jamie? But she is standing right beside us. Doctor, no, no, no. Harris, Doctor, it's Robson. He's trying to get away with one of the company helicopters. Jamie, what? Harris, I feel it would be... I'm afraid he's got your young girl of him. Doctor, oh no, oh no. Can I speak to him from here? Harris, yes, Price, switch to IT. Price, yes, sir. Robson, this is me. It's what? Price, yes. Doctor, Robson, 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 listen to me. Can you hear me? Robson, said to the doctor. To... Robson, come back, man. Come back, Robson. Do you realise what they're trying to do to you? They're trying to control you. Robson, now listen to me. Doctor, Robson, 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 listen, listen. Control hall, Robson, I have the girl. She's my prisoner. She is my hostage. Do you understand? If you want to her to live... Come over to us. Come over to us, Dr. Robson, Robson. Price, you switch it off, sir. James, what did he mean, come over to us? Dr. Well, you meant, you meant exactly what he said. Harris, you mean they want you? Doctor, yes, they must think I'm a serious menace. Harris, but you won't go, surely. Doctor, of course, but of course. Jones, but we need, we need you here. You're only, your, our only hope. Jamie, Doctor, we can't let them take Victoria. Now we've got to do something to stop him. Jones, you can't go with him. With that man. You can see you can't you can see he's not responsible, Jamie. Doctor Jamie's right. We've got to go after him. Harris, yes, you can use the company helicopter. Jairus, Jones, Harris. As if this man we if he lets man go now, what hope have we got? Doctor, yes, Jones. I have a feeling that Mr. Robson is going to lead us to the nerve centre, Connolly. Harris, Price, tell the helicopter crew to stand by. Doctor, come with me. I'll get you some transport quickly. Harris, office, Paris. Good, thank you, Price. Tell them to not to lose touch. Oh, and Paige, the doctor and the boy are the airborne yet? Price, no, sir. They're approaching the airfield. Another helicopter is ready to take off as the doctor and Jamie run over to it. Once aboard, the pilot takes off. They go after Robson. Robson's on the final re- bro- approach to rig Harris's room. Price, Mr. Har- Harris, Mr. Ha- Sir, Mr. Harris, the doctor's airborne. Harris, good. 
Robinson's controls all of Harris. Doctor, can you see Robinson? Look, Doctor, no, we can't see anything here. Harris, all right, listen carefully. We managed to track him on a radar scope. Radar scope. He just landed on a controlling rig complex. Harris, a control rig complex? Harris, what? Say again? Doctor, we are processing there now. Jones. What chance have they got? Harris, you guess is good as mine. Jones, what do we know? Jones, we sit and wait. What do we, Jones, what do we do now? Harris, we sit and wait. Jones, but we can't. Harris, the doctor hasn't done... If the doctor hasn't done something within the hour, I have activated the compound. Jones, it, no, it's... It's Jones, Harris. That's final, Mr. Jones. Doctor's had a cut to Doctor. Jamie... Where well, there's a control rig comp- complex. Jamie, hi, hey John, hey Doctor. One of those, uh, one of those towers is covered in white. Doctor, well, it's yes, it's foam. That's the nerve center, the circle, looking for landing. They circle, landing, looking for landing site. Jamie, Robson's helicopter. Doctor, yes. Jamie, we can't still land there. Doctor, oh yes, we can. Jamie, they pilot it descends on the hover on over the land pad. Sending them foam flying. They deploy a rope ladder and the doctor comes down. Control rig, doctor, come on in. The water's lovely. Jamie climbs down the weights in the hem of his kilt, preserving his modesty from the turbulence term- 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 of the rotors. Doctor, come on, Jamie. Jamie reaches the pad. The doctor gives the pilot a thumbs up and it flies away. Doctor, goodbye. Now, down... Doctor, goodbye now. Down to the hatch. Doctor, rig control. Corridor. Doctor and Jamie go down a ladder into a long metal corridor. Doctor, so far, so good, Jamie. Jamie, but the driver, will he, will he wait for us? Doctor, oh yes, he said he would be hanging around. Jamie, where do we go Where do we go from here? Doctor, I think we go along, along down here. Doctor, it's like walking into Lion's Den. Doctor, Jamie, we're in Lion's Den. What do we do? What we got to concentrate on is getting up, keep, keeping our heads out of the mouth. Now, come on. They walk along them another metal surface. Staircase going deeper de- down into the rig. Jamie, it's very quiet. Do you think Victoria really down here? Doctor, there's no way she else she can be. Jamie, I said, fact, you're right, Vic. Doctor, no, Jamie. Jamie, there's no, there's no element of surprise. Victoria, James, Doctor, Jamie, Doctor, Jamie, see, yes, I was right. She was right, Doctor. No, Jamie. Jamie, doesn't matter. Doctor, if you were hunting, what would you do? Jamie, well, I was set. Oh, I see. Think it might be a trap, Doctor. Might be. Let's be cautious, just one, just in case, huh? Doctor. The sound of her feet gets louder, and as they check each other, each room, they come to the third door, at the end of this, of this corridor. Doctor, come here we go. Pig, big cabin. The doctor throws open the door and reaches to the light switch. A foam in the room is waist deep and with someone standing in the middle of waist, the weed of his body. Jamie, is Robson. Robson, come in, doctor. We've been waiting for you. Picky eaters can have you second-guessing dinnertime decisions, but Pillsbury Crescent Rolls are a great way to start a meal, knowing that everyone will be happy with what you made, even picky eaters. Try delicious recipes like taco crescent ring, pepperoni pizza crescent rolls, and more. They're quick and easy to make and can be served up with confidence. Visit Pillsbury.com for recipe inspiration and pick up a can or two of Pillsbury Crescent Rolls or other Pillsbury meal starters next time you're at the grocery store. Only at Metro by T-Mobile, you can upgrade to 5G and get more savings with the lowest price on one line of unlimited 5G. Just $40, period. That's it. Taxes and fees included. Plus, more choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones from brands you love, like Samsung. Switch and save more. Only at Metro. 
Lowest price versus major national prepaid brands. The fraction of users greater than 35 gigabytes per month may notice reduced speeds and Metro customers may notice reduced speeds versus T-Mobile due to prioritization. Video streams and SD requires eligible port in and plan. See store for details.